In this video, we're going to write code in Excel VBA that allows us to save each worksheet in our workbook as its own separate PDF file on our network drive. So you can see here, I have a workbook that contains four different worksheets for four different branch locations. Each of those worksheets has loan disbursement data for each of those branches. And what we want to do is save each of these worksheets as its own separate PDF file. So the first thing we want to do is get into the VBA editor window. You can do that by hitting Alt F11 on your keyboard. Anywhere in this project window, I'm going to right click, go to insert and then new module. We'll call this subroutine save to PDF. And we'll begin by declaring a couple of variables. The first variable is going to be called WS and it's going to represent each individual worksheet in our collection of worksheets. So it's going to be as the data type worksheet. The next variable is going to be called my date and it's just going to hold a date string value that we're going to add on to our file names eventually just to capture today's date and add that to our file name. So although it's a date, it's going to be the data type string because it's part of our file name and a file name is a string value. So before we jump all the way into this, what I want to show you is what the default value or default action, I should say, is for the export to PDF as fixed format if we do it on the, the workbook we're in now. So I'm going to reference this workbook and then the method we're looking for is export as fixed format. And what we want here is for the file type, Excel type PDF. So when I do this and run it, what this will do is it will look at every sheet that has data in our workbook and save it as one single PDF file with multiple pages. So here is the location of my workbook that contains our code. It will, by default, save it to this same location. So I'll hit play run this you can see we have a PDF file now that has the same file name as our workbook and is located in the same location now and you can see we have four pages for each of our four sheets that has data in them but that's not what we want we want individual PDF files for each of our sheets so I'm gonna get rid of this code here and the first thing I want to do is define our my date variable because we want this to be part of our file name. So what I'm going to use here is the format function. And what we want to do is format the output of the now function. So the first input is the now function and then the format we want it in. So we want to return today's date in two digit month, two digit day and four digit year and so what we want to do now is export each individual sheet as its own PDF file so to do that we need to set up a for each loop so here we're going to reference our worksheet variable because that just represents each worksheet in our collection of worksheets in our file. So for each worksheet in the collection of worksheets, we want to reference our worksheet and export as fixed format. And what I want to do here is continue my parameters each on its own line. So I'm going to hit space and underscore here. First parameter is type. And the type we want is Excel type PDF. I'm going to hit a comma to get to the next parameter we want to set up. 
I'm going to hit space and underscore again to continue on a new line. So we want our file name to be equal to our worksheet and then we want the name of each worksheet and we want to append the date value of our my date value variable onto the end of this. So I'm going to use the and symbol to join this to a space and then another and symbol to add our my date variable. So this will target the first worksheet in our collection of worksheets and then we want to use the keyword next to cycle up back to the start to go to the second worksheet and then repeat these steps until it goes through every single worksheet in our workbook. So now when I hit play what we should see is four PDF files with the sheet name as the file name and also today's date. And there it is. We have four files with each of our sheet names. You can see this is one single page for the branch one data. One single page for the branch two and so on and so on. So now let's say that we didn't want to save our PDF files to the same location as our workbook that contains our code. I'll just add a new folder here that says daily files. And we'll get the path of this. And we'll set up a new variable called path as the data type string. And we'll set our path variable equal to the path we have here. And now what we need to do here is add an additional slash on the end of that. So in our file name variable, what we can do then is set this as our path and then use the and symbol to join this to what we already have here. So now when I hit play, you can see it saves directly to a path of our choosing. Now one final thing I want to mention here is if you have to run this macro again on the same day this will overwrite your existing files. So if you don't want that what we could do is add a hours minutes second stamp to our date variable here so we could add hours minutes seconds and that would create unique file names assuming you don't run the macro on the same second which is doubtful that you could even do that so I'll hit play here and you can see now we have a unique file name with hours, minutes, second timestamp on the end of that. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.